Woohoo! Well, you can forget about those slug cruisers. They're light years away with their dicks in the dust. Not literally, of course, because large ships don't have dongs. We understand. Now we're here. What now? now? We have to set a course for the Dantarian sector. I feel we're running out of time. All right, well, we'll just slingshot around that small moon up there. That's no moon. Uh, yeah, it is. No, it's not. Uh, it's definitely a moon. It's got all the classic moon things. No, really, it's not a moon. Buddy, I think I would know what a moon looks like. Oh, you know what a moon looks like. Yeah. Well, if you think that looks like a moon, I would love to hear what you think are all the classic moon things. All right, classic moon things. Uh, round, near a planet. Okay. Guns everywhere. Ah, guns. What? Guns are definitely not a moon thing. And neither is being shaped like a sea or being partially see-through or half constructed. <laughs> you said it, Dewey. What? What did he say? Oh, he said your little braid thing makes you look like a big girl. And also, you're wrong about the moon thing. Ha! If that's a moon, then how come we're stuck in its tractor beam? Moons can have tractor beams. And another floor done. What? Already? Virtua Janitor Champion right here. I'm telling you, another couple months leveling at double XP and my rank goes up to assistant custodial manager and actual manager when the manager is sick. Oh, no. Tractor beams are offline again. You want to come check this out? No, nah, I'm going to play an extra shift before my shift. OK, suit yourself. Hmm. New downloadable content. Broom armor? Purchase. Insufficient credits. Mike, you forget something? <laughs> this is the one? <laughs> you guys are rebels. No, uh, we're mercenaries. There's a difference. Sure, whatever you want, yeah. So my pal here says you saved him from some exploding space station or something? Oh, oh right, right, yeah, from, from the escape pod, yeah. Wait, wait, you can understand what he's saying? Yeah, and you will too. I will. Today's your lucky day, janitor. You just inherited a life debt. A what? A life debt. You saved his life, so now he has to stay by your side until he gets a chance to save yours. It's pretty decent. Basically, you got a giant, angry, hairy bodyguard following you around for like a pretty long time. Sweet. And hey, you sure about this, buddy? <laughs> Take care. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and try not to beat him at any games. Oh, because let me guess, he gets angry and rips people's arms off. No, uh, genitals. Yeah, this one gets mad and tears off genitals. Well, see ya. Oh, what's new with me? Just me and this rebel encounter right here. Check it out, not a big deal. Did you uh, actually manage to shoot anyone, or? I actually. Got to hit one of these insect-looking droids right here. Those ones are on our side. Yeah, I got in pretty big trouble. Well, at least you killed something, right? That's true. Guys, check it out. This is Dewey. He owes me a life debt, so he's gonna be hanging around for a little bit. You know, protecting me, making sure I don't die, being my cool buddy while he helps keep me alive. Darp, where did you... <laughs> you do realize that until this thing saves your life, he's gonna be around you all the time. Yeah. Think of all the cool stuff we can do with this guy. Oh, we gotta sign up for that two-on-two -two laser ball tournament. Hey, we were gonna join that, but look at how tall he is. Plus, you say that I never pass the ball. You don't. Well, now I will, to Dewey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. You understand that? No, I'm having a hard time picking it up. I think he said, go team? Or maybe he said, toilet? Do you have to go to the toilet? <laughs> I'm gonna take that as a yes, considering what happened 10 minutes ago. <laughs> Come on, Dewey. <laughs> Darby's dog is wearing a belt. Are you serious? That hallway leads directly to Bay 17. That's where your ship's being held. All right, I'm gonna sneak past them with this cloaking device. That's no cloaking device. Yeah, it is. I think I know what a cloaking device is. Okay, I'm a smuggler. Really? You think that... Look, I'm not gonna start taking technology advice from a guy who rocks a robe like 24-7, okay? It 
It's not a robe, it's a gi. It's a robe. I've taken showers before. Took one this morning. Wore a robe. Like that one, but better. It's silk. Well, how do you know this is the latest fashion? Whatever. You wouldn't recognize this clothing spray because it's the new kind. The spray-on kind. It's cooking spray. I just gotta gear down, okay? It doesn't affect the clothing. It only affects organic matter. You're not seriously good. I'm gonna be a shadow. Now you see me, now you don't. Yes, I do. Ready? Seal the deal. Blast the donger. Okay, that's just wrong. I'm invisible now. I'm a ghost. I'll be like the wind. And these teeth come from an animal native to the Firefall region of the planet Cosmos. So that is not interesting. Do you know where he's staying tonight? Yeah, he said something about getting set up somewhere. I hope so, because I cannot take another night of sleep howling until 4 a.m. Don't worry, it's under control. Once he settles in, he's gonna be great. And he can cover our shifts for us. And, and that means we can sleep in. And I think he's saying something about back rubs? <laughs> Okay, maybe I didn't think this through. There are entrails on my bed. Dewey, would you mind waiting outside for a moment? <laughs> <clears throat> so, guys, I did a bit of research on your pet here. Turns out he's wanted in five systems. His accomplices are already in custody. Don't worry, Darb's got it all under control, right, Darb? Let me guess, harboring a fugitive is death. Just death again. Most of the laws are death. OK, yeah, let's get rid of them. Laser ball commissioner's going to be pissed. So let me guess, the honeymoon phase is over, and now you're sick of his weird shedding, gross smell, and tendency to blow things up with his crossbow. <laughs> Happens all the time. Yeah, look, can you just tell me how to get rid of him? Uh, well, I could help you in the life, Dad, if you help us bust out of here. What do you think of that? I think I should have gone with one of the other smugglers in the cantina. I'll need to be there, and I'll also need my clothes back. Even that butt face guy would have been good, I bet. Okay, maybe I can distract the guards for a bit, but we're gonna need something to cut you guys out of there. Well, this do? What? Give me that! Wait, where were you keeping this? <laughs> Sure he's gonna fall for this? Yeah, they don't see too well. I've used this bear suit tons of times. Wait, how does the new life debt cancel out the old one? I don't know, it's just the way their rules work. When he comes in here, just say that you saved his life, and then you guys are in the whole life debt deal together. But he won't get jealous or something? Nah, it just cancels each other out. Unless... Unless what? Well, unless he invokes the rights of Hurura. He has the right to fight Mike to the death, and whoever wins gets the life debt. What? But uh, here he comes, so let's just stick to the plan. Oh, there's no plan anymore. What plan? I'm gonna go over there, away from the danger zone, and everything will be great. Dangerous. Relax. Listen. Oh, hey, Dewey. Hey. <laughs> Check this out. I saved this guy's life, and now he owes me a life debt. <laughs> so, uh, I guess that's... No, no. Dewey, Dewey, no. No, Dewey, come on. No. What did he say? He said he's gonna miss you a lot. <laughs> Let's go, Dewey. Before I start to cry. Mike, can we keep him? No. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.